Hello, and welcome to the first year of WWE's ECW, the show where we take a look back at the first 52 episodes of WWE's re-envisioning of Extreme Championship Wrestling. We're welcome to the show by Joey Styles. For the first time ever, ECW was at Madison Square Garden. Paul Heyman makes his way down to the ring, accompanied by his security. He says that the saviour of the wrestling industry has arrived in the hallowed halls of Madison Square Garden. After all the sacrifice and dedication, my ECW flag flies high in the garden. Paul goes on to explain that it's all thanks to him that ECW has got to this grand stage. He says that when he listened to the fans who wanted RVD, Sabu, Sandman and Tommy Dreamer, ECW went out of business. He then says that later tonight when Big Show steps out of that curtain, before he can finish, he's cut off by Sabu's music. Heyman says that if Sabu makes one more step towards the ring, he'll pin him like he did two weeks ago. This doesn't go down well with Sabu. Initially he gets past the security, but he's quickly pulled off of Heyman. He then takes out the security with chair shots and an Arabian face buster. Paul Heyman then tells Sabu that when he takes on Big Show for the ECW title tonight, it will be under extreme rules. Sabu then launches himself over the top rope, crashing down onto Heyman's security team. First match of the night, our rivalry continues between Rob Van Dam and Hardcore Holly. Great opening bout again this week. I'm really liking this rivalry between RVD and Holly, and both matches that they've had against each other thus far on the ECW brand have been very good. For the second week in a row, RVD nearly knocks himself out again. Nutty geezer. Holly controls the match for a while, then eventually RVD starts to make a comeback. Just as it looks like Van Dam is going to get the win, Stevie Richards and Mike Knox run down to the ring. RVD takes them both out, but then Test enters the ring and hits a full Nelson slam on RVD. Of course, it's another DQ finish. All four men then start to beat down RVD. Luckily, Van Dam has some backup when Sandman and Tommy Dreamer run down to the ring. Sandman hits Knox, Test and Holly with the Singapore cane. Stevie Richards gets the worst of it, getting an additional Dreamer DDT and a five-star frog splash. We ain't messing about this week on ECW, we're straight into another match. CM Punk makes his way down to the ring, shortly followed by the guy he bitch slapped last week, Shannon Moore. Moore gets a little bit of revenge as he hits Punk with a stiff slap to start the match, but it doesn't last long as Punk then makes relatively short work of Moore, eventually hitting the Anaconda Vice and making him tap. Rene Dupree is backstage looking at himself in the mirror again. He says it's a big night tonight, ECW at Madison Square Garden. Up next, the long-awaited debut of the most extreme athlete in ECW history, me, Rene Dupree. FBI are congratulating CM Punk on his win backstage when Kelly Kelly interrupts. She also congratulates Punk on his win and says she's a huge fan of his. She says that she would love for them to go to one of those wild and crazy nightclubs in New York City, but she's only 19, so they can't really go out, but they could stay in together. Mike Knox then gets in Punk's face, says excuse me, and barges off with Kelly. Kevin Ford and Ariel have come down to ringside to once again watch this next bout. Before they sit down, Ariel terrorises Joey Styles again. Still can't believe Joey Styles is complaining about this. Dupree then makes his way to the ring for his debut match on the brand, followed by Bulls Mahoney. Let's not forget that last week, Ariel and Fawn cost Mahoney his match against Stevie Richards. Well, we certainly didn't get to see that extreme side that Renee was talking about over the past few weeks. Surprise, surprise. The match was just okay, once again a bit sloppy and stiff in places, but it was fine. Mahoney is fighting Dupree on the outside when Fawn gets up to attack him, but Balls hits him in the face. Balls then goes to bring a chair into the match. When the referee is distracted, Fawn gets up and kicks Mahoney from the apron into the still steps. Dupree chucks him back in the ring and picks up the victory. As expected, once again, Kevin Fawn costs Balls Mahoney the match. Next we get a quick Matt Stryker promo backstage. He goes on to insult the Sandman and the fans that support him. He says a man is judged by the company that he keeps. Thus, the choice is yours. You can either drink beer with the Sandman or come to class and learn with your teacher, Matt Stryker. Before the main event, we also get a quick recap of more shenanigans from the DX McMahon rivalry the night before on Raw. Once again, our ECW champ Big Show was there to help out Vince and Shane. If you're a fan of the channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. For just $3 a month, you get your name featured in the credits of my videos, access to a private Discord server, and an exclusive video each month. Link in the description below. Main event time. Big Show and Sabu make their way to the ring for an Extreme Rules match for the ECW World Championship. It was a slow start to this match, and a bit boring to begin with. 
but eventually things started picking up towards the end when Sabu hits a DDT on Big Show, sending him through a table. Then Sabu knocks Show through the ropes into a table on the outside when he hits him with a chair. Sabu then goes to hit Big Show with an Arabian face buster through the table, but Big Show catches him mid-air and chokes lands him through the table. Show then hits Sabu with a sleeper backbreaker and then a showstopper leg drop for the win. Big Show retains the title and beats Sabu pretty much clean. There was only a tiny bit of interference during some moments from Heyman's security team. I mean, that's got to put an end to the Big Show Sabu rivalry now. Not really sure how Sabu can come back from that loss. Once again, this was a fairly decent episode of ECW. It didn't blow me away, but I was entertained throughout. A bit disappointing seeing Sabu fail to capture the ECW title and lose clean to the Big Show. However, at least it wasn't some bullshit cop-out ending like we've seen so many times before. For the fourth week in a row, this episode of ECW is getting a solid 3 out of 5 stars. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.